Hello, I'm going to tell you a little story about something that happened a few months ago. I was visiting my wife in hospital and the car park at our local hospital is always really jam-packed. It's always really difficult to park and um, it just makes visiting time really awkward. Um, But there is a street leading up to the hospital and it has some spaces on it. And I found a space. So I found this space. Now, as you can see from the space, it's not exactly a normal parking position. Um, I made sure that, you know, I didn't block anyone's way, that a wheelchair could go on the drop curves and get back on. And um, I thought, oh, you know, hopefully I'll, I suppose I'll, I'll get away with it. It's not exactly good parking, but I wouldn't wasn't expecting a ticket, but that's exactly what I got. I got one of these penalty charge notices from the council, you know, looking at where I parked and not wanting to pay £35 or £75, well, £70 if I didn't pay it soon enough, I thought, I'll appeal it. I sent an email off, because you can, and so this is what I wrote. That I received the PCN on that date, uh, but I believe the ticket was wrongly issued and like to submit an appeal. The alleged contravention, it's a difficult word to say, uh, did not occur. So I got this Um, some advice off the money saving expert on how to write an appeal and the right terminology. So I said quite simply the parking attendant got it wrong, I was not parked on Squire Lane, which is what my ticket said, but on the private road next to it, which is this little grey road here. Because I am kind of, remember the photo, I'm past the giveaway lines and there was insufficient signage. I was unable to determine what the relevant parking restrictions were. Um, and I took some photos of the signage, like they said to on the Money Saving Expert site. So there's a sign here which has been bleached by the sun. Um, even though the photo's not good, the sign really did look that bad. And there's one further down about permit holders. And they sent a letter back, because apparently they, they have to send letters. Um, they, they I offered, I said, you can respond on email, but no. I got a letter back saying, no, we uh, don't accept your appeal. You were parked on double yellow lines. Now, my first PCN didn't say I was on double yellow lines, but that's not what my original PCN said. It said I was parked in a restricted street during prescribed hours. Could they have got it wrong somewhere? And then this is their photo evidence, much the same as mine. Um, I'm not actually on the double double yellow lines. Um, and uh, I asked them to retract it. And I wanted to ask to point out saying, look, I was going to the BRI. It's really bad parking there. Um, And there's loads of unused area. So just to show you that unused area, Google video of it, or sky imagery of it, is this area here. But all of these buildings, I believe they were council owned. Um, They're not there anymore. We popped to the street view, which made me laugh when I popped to the street view. There you go, little guy. Um, There's a van parked exactly where I was on when the Google street car took the pictures um, and so there's all this area here like a real big glut of area um, you know if you look at the car parking spaces and the roads around here compared to the parking at the hospital this bit here and this thin bit here you know there's probably more parking in this area if they're only to open it up but um, they replied in their letter um, to mine saying I'm sorry I can't really discuss anything because um, you know, you're in an appeal process and um, I'm not going to let you know anything. So there I am in the moral dilemma of, I didn't park very well. Yeah, I admit that. I'm not a great driver. I'm not great at parking. Um, and I, you know, I wanted to get in and get out and wanted to be near the entrance of the hospital visiting my wife for as long as possible. So the legalistic aspect of me is I was not on double yellow lines. They're saying I'm on double yellow lines. They've also changed their mind about what I've done wrong. And that, you know, that infuriates me a little bit. Um, And then I've got the other aspect of, if I had a letter from Bradford Council saying, um, dear sir, we are currently don't have enough funds to run lots of the great activities that we do for free, the libraries, the youth centres, would you consider giving £35 or £70 uh, to us to to aid us in, in work of building community? I would have gone, yes. And I probably would have chosen the £70 option. But because they told me I've done something wrong, and said, well, you can pay £35 or £70 if you take too long to pay it, which I think is slightly unfair anyway, um, then um, then I was, you know, a bit affronted by that. So then I had the moral dilemma happening in me. Um, so I had, I want to 
I want to be an upstanding citizen and I know that parking badly can cause lots of problems. And then at the same time I'm thinking, traffic wardens, they must they must be on commission because otherwise you'd just be the best traffic warden in the world and just see somebody there, think, yeah, I'll give them another 10 minutes, give them another 10 minutes, give them another 10 minutes. And if the car's not really causing a problem, you know, wait till they come and say, I didn't write you a ticket, but you know, don't park there next time. And people would probably love you. Maybe not, but people would appreciate it more than getting the PCN on. So I'm thinking maybe they have quotas to fill. And then if you have a quota to fill, where's a good place to go? Visiting hours, go to the roads, buy the BRI and uh, start giving out PCNs there. Fill up your quota for the day. So I'm thinking mm, maybe I should do a Freedom of Information Act and, and you know, try and expose this and, uh, and get this, this area opened up. Then there's the Christian aspect of me where I know that I should, um, you know, pay my taxes and live as a law-abiding citizen. Um, and I know that I should love and care for people. And in terms of parking, you know, you probably only score this about a 2 out of 10 uh, for the good quality parking anyway. So, you know, it was obvious that it wasn't a great position to park. You want to hear what I did? Well, I caved in. I spoke to uh, someone who worked at the council, I spoke to a councillor, and asked them where the money went from the fines for the PCNs, whether it goes into a specific pot for highways or whether it goes into the general fund. And they believed it went into the general fund, and that was enough for me. So I treated this as me giving a donation. So now you're asking, did I pay the £35 or the £70? Well, I did wimp out. I did choose to give the lower amount. And... I am slightly challenged whether I should give another £35 to the council um, in a Christmas card or something and say, here, use this money for something else. But me being me, I'll probably hold on to that until someone else I know has a PCN or there's someone else I can help personally because uh, it's, it's, not, it's nicer to help people personally. So there, that was my moral dilemma. I'd yeah, I'd love to know what you think about PCNs and about parking and about uh, hospital parking. One final point. The hospital parking is a private company. It's £2.50, I think, for two hours minimum, even if you're only there for half an hour. And uh, in the centre of town, you can pay 60p in an enclosed parking for, for one hour. And so it really is preying on the vulnerable. Maybe you can, uh, please go ahead and do it. See if we can get that ground opened up by the BRI to be used for a car park, you know? Create some new business and uh, undercut the other company. All right, have a very good December and a very Merry Christmas. Bye.